This is the last video where we are analyzing uh, the system prompt of ChatGPT5 published on social network X a couple of weeks ago. We're not in system, it's a system prompt of ChatGPT5. We're just reading this document published on social network X and trying to make sense of it. So here I would like just to summarize what I have understood after, the, after reading this document and after actually chatting with ChatGPT and asking questions about the parts of this document, about uh, different tools and getting really quite interesting information. First of all, I can tell you that um, as a result of this analysis, I would say I'm using now, so I understand now that I was using maybe 30% of the capabilities available to me. And now I would I, I would like to say that I use 100% of them, at least the ones which were described there. I'm not saying that I'm the prof professional user of ChatGPT. I'm sure that there is a lot of use cases, a lot of things you can do in ChatGPT. And let's say I'm not doing a lot of uh, programming in Python, for instance, uh, uh, with ChatGPT and a lot of other people do, but I know such things as for, for instance, Canvas tool, I knew that it exists before, but I just had it sometimes uh, in, the, in the chat and I was not sure what it is. Now I understand that the Canvas tool uh, is, is an amazing tool. And uh, please, uh, if you want to check the video on this channel, which I published a couple of days ago about the Canvas tool, the Canvas tool is an amazing tool. If you, if you work with some documents, it can be a long document, it can be even short document. So let's say when I was, uh, when I was doing uh, uh, wizard uh, documents uh, in the PDF format and first in the Word format, for this series uh, about the Canvas, about the image generation and so on, by the way, you can find all of these uh, documents in the Telegram community or in the school community of Reasonable AI. So when I was working uh, with uh, this document, I was actually using the Canvas tool. And the way to use the Canvas tool, you should really specifically say, please use the Canvas tool uh, to create uh, this document. Document. And then a, a separate window appears and you can modify everything in this canvas tool. The advantages of this uh, is actually that uh, you will not uh, be uh, using standard chat interface where uh, if you need to change something, everything should be rewritten once again and you read it again. It actually is just a document and if you need to just change a couple of paragraphs, you're just changing these paragraphs and that's it. Another important thing, and maybe that's the first one, uh, is that it's a, actually a system prompt shows that OpenAI is constructing a tool-based system. It's a type of agentic or let's say tool-based maybe even operating system maybe in the future they will compete with microsoft where the amount of tools described in the system prompt uh, now is just eight but you can imagine that it can be hundreds of tools a bit later and uh, the model is not becoming more complicated it's still the same model they will of course update the versions of the model but if you just add different amount of tools you're adding uh, tools this tool that tool depending on uh, the uh, depending on time you know with, with time the tools will be developed uh, more tools will be added and uh, this uh, chat user interface of ChatGPT is just becoming more and more powerful just because you are adding more and more tools. So OpenAI is building a new tool-based agentic system or maybe tool-based agentic operating system.